Have you ever had a patient present with a peripheral coronary ulcer? And then you ask yourself, is that sterile or infectious? Or have you had a patient with a herpetic coronary lesion that is just not responding well to your treatment? If so, check out this clip. Let's say this patient came into your clinic here. So this patient comes into your clinic uh, and you're seeing them, they have some redness, they were getting ready for work and they saw this white dot on their eye. They're a contact lens wear, they slept in their contact last night. And what you'll see here um, is you'll see there's the infiltrate there and you'll see that on the picture of the left, the white light picture. And you go over to the right and you look and there's actually an epi defect there. You're like, okay, huh. I would say this is infectious, right? Now, but you see the difference here. There's not a lot of um, injection in this picture compared to over here. Like, look at both of those eyes. Even look at this one. Look at how much injection. Look at how much injection. Eh, just a little bit, right? And this is going to be a case of where it's going to be borderline. And sometimes you're not going to know if this is sterile or infectious. And if you ever are unsure of which one to do, just treat it like it's infectious. So this patient, let's say you saw him on a Friday. You, over the weekend, you would treat it like it's infectious. Hey, antibiotic drop, Q1H, you can sleep, but while you're awake, every one hour, and then come back on Monday. And if it looks exactly the same, then you know it's sterile. This was actually a sterile corneal ulcer. So let's say this patient comes in. Most times, if this patient comes in, you're going to be thinking herpes, right? Herpes simplex. So if you're seeing this, you're going to be thinking herpes simplex. This patient had been treated by an optometrist for herpes simplex for five weeks on Zergan. How long does herpes simplex take to heal itself on average? I would probably say about like seven to 10 days. And that's why you give them the drops for about 10 days or the gel cream or, or antivirals, depending on what, what, what you're treating there. This patient had a history of sleeping in their contact lenses. And so not only sleeping in contact lenses, swimming and using water had like really, so actually if we come back here to the booster book, this was actually acanthamoeba, okay? Pseudodendrites, okay? Acanthamoeba, you can get these pseudo Dendrite. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to KMK's new clinic Power Up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.